Recently, the rapper Kenya West made a, a startling statement uh, in regard to slavery, which uh, has a lot to do with the 13th uh, Amendment. Now, as we know, students of Bible prophecy, as we know that uh, in order for this country to uh, enforce or to legislate uh, Sunday, according to both the Bible and Spirit of Prophecy, they, they have to do away with uh, the Constitution. And the 13th Amendment uh, is uh, again a part uh, of the Constitution. Notice with me what Sister White says here. From uh, Testimonies to the Church, Volume 5, page 451. It says, Our country shall repudiate every principle of its Constitution as a Protestant. Let's pause there. The first thing we see here, it is as a Protestant. Why? Because according to Revelation 13, once again, we see this nation coming up as a lamb. It has two horns. And uh, those two horns uh, represent uh, Republicanism and uh, Protestantism, as we started to read here. But also represented uh, a nation uh, without a king uh, and, a, and a church without a pope. Those are the principles on which uh, this, na this nation was uh, founded upon. But uh, we are told in these last days, in order for this nation to enforce the mark of the beast uh, and to bring back slavery, it must do away with its uh, constitution. Back to the screen. Our country shall repudiate every principle of its constitution as a Protestant and Republican government and shall make provision for the propagation of papal falsehoods and uh, delusions, meaning uh, the Sunday law as well. Then we may know that the time has come uh, for the marvelous working of Satan and that the end uh, is near. So based on what we just read here, when we see this nation, as we have been looking at uh, in some current events, signs of the times, uh, we, ha we have been seeing them calling for an amendment to the Constitution. Now, the latest, uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, the latest uh, amendment uh, that uh, came up from uh, Kanye West, the, the rapper there, is the 13th Amendment. What does the 13th Amendment say? Notice with me what it says there. Article 13th, 13th Amendment, Section 1. It says, Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Section 2 says, Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. We'll come back uh, to the Section 1 of uh, Article 13 uh, in a moment. But uh, notice with me, this article again uh, deals with uh, the 13th Amendment, with, which uh, we were told were supposed to free the slave. Which, which was binding upon uh, the, the uh, rulers of the land uh, that uh, the, the, this article prohibited them uh, from uh, owning slaves. The only time uh, they, someone can be confiscated or treated uh, as a prisoner, in this case here, would be if that person has committed a crime. But notice what again uh, inspiration tells us. It says here from Manuscript Releases, Volume 2, page 299, The time will come when men will not only forbid Sunday work, notice context there, Sunday work, but they will try to force men to labor on the Sabbath. And men will be asked to renounce the Sabbath and to subscribe to Sunday observance or forfeit their freedom, keyword there, freedom, and their lives. Notice the next one here. Slavery will again be revived in the southern states, for the spirit of slavery still lives. So notice now carefully. She says uh, that uh, in Testimony Volume 5, uh, that uh, this nation uh, will repudiate every principle of its constitution. The 13th Amendment there we are dealing with, again, uh, is addressing slavery. But she also says uh, 
that in the last days, context there, in order for this nation to enforce uh, a Sunday law, slavery must, uh, or the, the Constitution rather, the Constitution must be abolished. And we see Sunday law has a lot to do with slavery. Notice again, uh, let's go back to what this rapper has says here about the 13th Amendment. It says here from uh, Independent, October 1st, 2018, Kenya West calls for abolition of the 13th Amendment, uh, which abolish slavery. 13th Amendment, he says, is slavery in disguise, artists say. Notice another one here from Newsweek, October 1st, 2018. What is the 13th Amendment? Kenya West called for abolishment in a message of love. Is the 13th Amendment uh, an extension of slavery? Passed by the Senate on April 8th, 1864, and later by the House of Representatives on January 31st, 1865, the 13th Amendment uh, to the U.S. Constitution saw both slavery and involuntary servitude abolished except uh, as punishment uh, for a crime. Key words there again, except as punishment for a crime. Once again, in order to have a Sunday law, they must do away with the Constitution or change the Constitution, but not technically change it all the way, but, but because of the keywords there. Once again, the, the letter part there says, except as punishment for a crime. But uh, notice once again, they would uh, legislate Sunday. So therefore, if you do not keep Sunday, it will be considered a crime. Do you see how this is going to sneak in on us? Notice with me what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6, uh, the Bible speaks of slavery as well. Revelation chapter 6, uh, verse 15, it says, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every keyword there, bond men, which means slave, and every free man. So you see the distinction there between bond men, men that are slave, and free men, then it says, hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Now, this was also confirmed in chapter 13, dealing with United States of America, of course, in chapter 13. First beast, chapter 13, verses 1 through 10. Second beast, United States of America, chapter 13, verses 11 through 17. Then the Bible tells us in verse 15, of uh, chapter 13, it says, And he, United States of America, had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, notice now, both small and great, rich and poor, free and, uh, what's the next one? Bond, slavery again, uh, to receive uh, a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So when we read this carefully, we see that uh, worship will be enforced. If you do not uh, worship according to the state, the way the state will be dictating us to do, you will become slave, you will be killed. So now, let's go back to the 13th Amendment again. Let's read that once, one more time. Notice again, Article 13, Section 1. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, here are the key words there, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall uh, have uh, been uh, duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any place subject to the jurisdiction. The key words there, again, are except as a punishment for crime. Well, they will legislate Sunday. If you do not keep Sunday, that's a violation. It would consi be considered as a crime. So therefore, they can uh, treat you as a slave. Hence, uh, 
The reason why Sister White says here that the time will come when men will not only forbid Sunday work, but they will try to force men to labor on the Sabbath. And men will be asked to renounce the Sabbath and to subscribe to Sunday observance or forfeit their freedom and their lives. Slavery will again be revived in the southern state for the spirit of slavery still lives. So now, back to Kenya West from the Daily Mail this time, October 1st, 2018. Kenya West calls the 13th Amendment slavery in disguise after demanding that the law, which itself ended slavery, be abolished in a string of bizarre social media posts. We are looking at uh, a turn of event. We are looking at uh, what uh, was prophesied to happen is happening right now. As we see, many states are calling for a convention of the states to do away to, or to amend the Constitution. As we discussed before, they only need 34 states uh, to amend the Constitution. And they, are about, they have about 28, I believe, right now. Only six short of the 34 that they need to amend the Constitution. Sunday law is coming, meaning slavery is coming back. Well, slavery is in existence right now. Notice with me what this says here. Great Controversy 608, as the defenders of truth refuse to honor the Sunday Sabbath, some of them will be thrust into prison, some will be exiled, some will be treated as slaves. To human wisdom, all this now seems impossible, but as the restraining spirit of God shall be withdrawn from men and they shall be under the control of Satan, who hates the divine precepts, there will be strange developments. The heart can be very cruel when gods of fear and love are removed. But remember Psalm 91 again. We will find a shelter in the time of storm. Remember the story of Paul and Silas in prison. They were being treated like slaves. But what happened? These men were rejoicing and singing praises unto our God. Notice with me another passage there. Great Controversy 626. As the decree issued by the various rulers of Christendom against commandment keepers shall withdraw the protection of government and abandon them to those who desire their destruction, the people of God will flee from the cities and villages and associate together in companies. Dwelling in the most desolate and solitary places, many will find refuge in the strongholds of the mountains, but many of all nations and of all classes, high and low, rich and poor, black and white, will be cast into the most unjust and, uh, what are the two words there? Cruel bondage. That will be the lot of God's people in these last days. Now, remember, as we look at, uh, as we're reading about uh, what's uh, taking place, uh, the development of Bible prophecies, these horrible things that would take place when the Spirit of God is removed, uh, but we remember the promises of Jesus Christ. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mentioned. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. So let not our heart be troubled. It is our time to work like never before, because our Master is coming to take us home. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we want to thank you for the gracious promise that uh, your Son, Jesus, who came into this world and died for my sins and the sins of uh, the whole world, He is coming again in the clouds of glory to take us home. What a day that will be. Until then, Lord, help us, Father, to be faithful. Send your angels to minister unto us, to remain faithful until that great day. In Jesus' name, amen.